Welcome back to Derseto. Welcome back to Alone in the Dark. And welcome back to, well, me having restarted the game because last time I had like one hit point. So that wasn't, that wasn't getting it done. That wasn't happening. So I had to restart the game and redo the stuff that we did. And did I do it any better? Well, let's see. Uh, I have 18 hit points now. So, I was able to do it better. I had 20 until this bedroom where you get the notebook, and oh my god, the monster in this room is aggressive as hell. And I was- I had- the best I was able to do was take two hit points of damage before beating him. I was not able to beat him perfectly because, man, the- <laughs> That zombie chicken is all up my ass when I take that notebook. Anyway. I have 18 health. What items do I have? I have the notebook, dresser key, broken vase, first aid case, the saber, chest key, oil can, bow, oil lamp, Jeremy's letter, a rifle. That's what we have. Now, okay. Bathroom monster is in here. There's also an item on the floor, and I'm wondering... Like, I don't know what I should do with bathroom monster, but can I, like, run into the bathroom and pick up the item on the floor before without getting hit? Can we do that? We're gonna have to find out if we can do that. Get in there, you. Take. Uh, run on out. Oh, I got hit. But only, only once. That's only once. But I got a jug. What am I going to put in that jug? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this room is the dark room. I have an o I have a lamp and I have oil. But I do not have like any anything to light the the oil lamp with. I think this way is the hallway with the painting that throws hatchets. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going in there. I don't know what to do with that. There's a suit of armor. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure what to do with him. Um, I don't know what to do with the ghost who turns into orbs. The gramophone is in her room. I don't I don't know what to do with that. Uh, we can search the kitchen. Right here's the soup. Here's the key. Oh, that's fight. Let's try search. Oh, biscuit box. I didn't I didn't get this last time. Biscuit box. I could eat drink. I could throw it or drop put it. I don't I mean this game doesn't let you examine things, so what does an item do? I don't know. But we know we have the biscuit box, whatever that might end up being. A knife? Yes. Two knives, actually. Oh, I can equip that knife. Well, let me, can I fight with knife? Knife fight? <clears throat> okay, no, that's... Hold on. Um... A knife use... Okay, there we go, yeah. We have knife fighting moves. Alright. We'll see if how- if that does any better than our bare hands. But I do have to go back to searching. I just realized that bathroom monster did five points of damage. It's like, it's stuck in one place, but it does a lot of damage. Then there's the oil lamp, and then a zombie attacks. Let's try out our knife. Alright, get in here, you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you. 
I'm gonna cut you. Don't think don't think I won't cut you with my with my knife. Edward Carnby is dangerous with a knife. All right. That seems like it did pretty well. It's full of water. Well, what about our, uh... Our, our, uh... Yeah, the jug from the bathroom. Oh, it worked. Hold on, hold on. Water jug. No longer empty jug. Now we have water jug. <clears throat> well, no, not that. Uh, search. Box of sh Box of shoes? Otherwise known as a shoe box. What? What is this pile of coal that we found the shoebox in? Open the box of shoes. Oh no! It, it, it is, it's not actually shoes. It's a gun. What? An, why would someone hide their gun in their pile of coal? Revolver. It has six bullets. Oh, oh, matchbox. Does that mean we can light we can light our we can light our lantern? Man, there's a lot of items. There's a lot of stuff in this kitchen. Uh we you know what save our game again. Alright, so I tried putting down the pot of soup on the table last time. Someone suggested that I should keep trying to do that. So I, I, I tried it in a different position to see if like if I stood somewhere else would it work. It looks like if it looks like if you stand at the head of the table. No, that's not what I wanted. Not th not that. Does that damage me? No, I'm still on 13. Um there we go. <clears throat> Everyone's sitting down for dinner. Yeah, I guess you have to stand at the head of the table and put the pot down for it to work. Then all these zombies calm down. It's still difficult for me to run. Like, it's not doing it consistently, and I don't know why. That goes back to the main hall. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. What about on the table itself? Nothing. Nope. What about this side of the table? No. Is there anything in this room? Did I just want to calm down the zombies so I could walk through it without being attacked? Is that what it is? Oh. What's going on? There's a lot of smoke in this room. I don't... I'm... I'm... I'm coughing. Oh, yeah, wow. That- that was a lot of damage from that cigar smoke. You know, that's enough that we're just- <laughs> I'll reload that. <laughs> I inhaled some cigar smoke, oh no. Okay, back here. Pot of soup. Drop. There we go. Alright, I'll, I'll let him get to his seat. Okay, add that to the number of things in Dear Seto that can kill you. It's a cigar in an ashtray. A haunted cigar. 
Let's save a game. That looks like a lighter. I will take. What, can I open this door? Yeah, that goes back out into main hall. Uh, let's save game and see if I can... Is it going to expand out if I'm standing out here? Or do I have to go in? I do have to go in. Anything else in this room? It's locked. Um, I don't think the key... Yeah, the key is for the cellar. It's not for this. <coughs> yeah. All right, a locked door in there. This is pirate, isn't it? Yeah, this is pirate. All right, if he wants a duel, we will try a duel. I ran in and got close up. I feel weak. All right, let me use my first aid kit. Gulp, gulp. <laughs> He's just gonna stand there and doing that. Ah. ah. Put my saber again. I hit him. I actually hit him once. Oh, but I dead. I dead. That guy is aggressive. Um, let's give it another try. See if I can maybe run up in, uh, and get in his ass. If I get hit, I guess get knocked back enough. I feel weak. Nah. I mean, we can fight him. Whether or not I can beat him is a bit unclear. I'm gonna remind myself what we have. This is locked. All right, this is a uh, this is dining room. All right, you know you know where we can go now. We got that that book of matches, right? So we can probably go into the dark room. Right, into the dark room. Uh, let's say use lighter. Lamp has no oil. Okay, oil can... Lamp is full. Lighter. Use. Lamp is on. Okay, here we go. Dark room. Very heavy statuette. And a book. Got like a bedside table with like a demon inscribed on it or something? Uh, if I think that if I go to open search, yeah, now we go back to the dark. Right. 
So I can't just actively search this. It has to be something that will automatically uh, get acknowledged when I press something. All right. Um, I can put the lamp away. Okay, what's in this book? A Brightness from Afar by Lord Bolliscan an account of his celebrated voyage to New England, 1824, Alistair Publications, Cambridge. Tell us about this voyage. Following a splendid journey, the sunny harbor came into sight. The locals were much impressed with one's arrival in their midst. One had time to sketch several of them and notice signs of degeneracy. Some children showed one their queer hands that would inspire uneasiness. Upon the promise of a few coins, a child has undertaken to reveal to one a most prodigious phenomenon of a natural order. One admits to being skeptical as to the prodigiousness of the marvel, whatever it may be. Indeed, one suspects it to be little more than an evening stroll to some charming wooden hut situated in the forest hereabouts. One will nonetheless go, for it is always well to submit to such local enthusiasms. One admits to being somewhat flabbergasted. The Milky Way shone like the fires of the apocalypse from the inky celestial vault. Certain distant stars normally invisible to the naked eye were clearly visible, glittering indeed with a strange intensity. The heavy clouds that had settled above the village had no hold over that place. It would be pointless to offer here the names of the constellations one perceived in utter clarity. Apart from the interminable length of such a list, one might conceivably risk being charged with exaggeration. The cross cast its shadow on the ground. The sea in the distance was dead calm. Tonight, one will return to that spot and draw those stars. Tomorrow night, one will at last see Halley's Comet in all its brilliance. The youngster will carry torches, despite one's developed sense of direction. Honed by years of travel, one feels incapable of finding one's way through the dark forest unaided. The drawings will, one is convinced, Set light to the souls of men. Such a moon! One lost count of the craters, so sharply was their definition. Loath as one is to seem excessive in one's appraisal, one cannot but feel that the forest clearing is indeed a place outside the common laws of time and space. Surely it is not an hallucination. How strange to consider that idle conversation, some research in the British Museum, and a voyage to this backward village should culminate in so astounding a discovery. It may be that others have noticed the extraordinary nature of that place. How else could one explain the presence of that cross? How indeed. How could this, how could one explain that? I don't see how one could. All right. Um, okay, so we got the book. Diary of a Journey, it calls it. We also got Very Heavy Statuette. Well, I mean, I, I said throw, but I just put it on the... It just put it on the floor. All right, have I s have I seen anything that I might want to put a very heavy statuette on? Hmm. Can I actually throw it? Like, if I could use it to like just chuck it at that pirate's head, I would like to do that. Oh, here, this is the room with the painting. I pro. Do I have anything that could do something about the painting? A lighter? Could I light it on fire?
Oh, can I examine it? No, it doesn't seem like it. No, it's only for the lamp. Matchbox? The lamp is already lit. I shoot it? I'm... Do I want to try using a bullet on the painting? Knife? Let's cut up this painting? It doesn't seem like that's doing anything. Splash some water on it. Slash it with the sword. N no. And there's there's bow. We have not found any arrows or anything. Hmm. I feel like I'm just going to die instantly if I go down this hallway. It didn't seem like there was anything I could do with dodging the hatchets. So I'm, I'm just thinking that I can't do that. There's Bathroom Monster. Do I want to try shooting Bathroom Monster? I mean, we could, like, uh, save a game. Hey, you. Alright. Did that, did that hit? Hmm. I can't tell. Okay, that hit. Rolver's empty. Still, st I like missed a whole bunch. So, let's try, let's see if we can hit with more, with more bullets. I think, do I have to wait for, it seems like I have to wait for it to recover before shooting again. Oh, let's go. No, still here. I thought it was receding. It is still alive. I think there were more bullets in the basement. I could get them, but that's a lot of bullets to use on one monster. Wow, I got knocked backwards by the rifle. So, it looks like it gets hurt, but it, I'm guessing you cannot kill that. At least not with guns. There must be, there must be something else to do with that. Alright, um... Suit of armor? What happens if I, can I, like I asked before, can I just chuck the heavy statue at it? My aim was off. We haven't had to throw anything yet. So, this is a new experiment. Is that, is that about right? <laughs> Let's take his sword. And take my statue back. Alright. Well, I have this sword now. Now, my, my saber... 
the first time I used it, it broke after a few hits. So maybe this sword is stronger. Maybe this is a better choice to do some sword fighting with. <clears throat> um, Orb's Ghost. Still don't know what to do with that. Um, I could try going into the basement. Because I haven't done yet I haven't done that yet on this saved game. Might as well get that done. There's some bullets down there. I can get the wedge. I don't know if I use the wedge for anything, but I can take it to reveal the hole. Um at the very least we can just have that in case it's needed. Some bullets. How many bullets are some bullets? I should check that. Run, Karn, be run! A block. Take that block. Uh, bullets. It doesn't say. Is it just two? Like, is it the graphic just shows two? It doesn't have a number. Maybe it's just two bullets. Run, Karn, be the rats. They're coming. Oh, is this a thing? I don't. I don't think that's a thing. The, the rats that screech like falcons. Okay, we can... Let's save that. <clears throat> now this door, I think... it Was this locked? No, this was not locked. What was in here? All oh, right, this statue room. What is this? Oh. I, uh, my inventory's full. My, we, our inventory can be full, apparently. Uh, uh, spiders! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I'm being killed by spiders. <laughs> Alright, add that to the list of things in Dirceto that can kill you. Alright, um... Man... Can we just, like, dispose of some items? Like, do I real Do I need a shoebox? Can I just leave the shoebox here? This oil can's empty. Can I just leave- Will they still be there if I come back? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. All right, spiders will drop down from the ceiling once I take that arrow. So first, let's look around. No, not not that. If I look. Can I look in the bushes? Nothing. No. Can I open this door? Yeah. Where did this go door go to? Oh yeah, this room. I, like, I died in this room, and I think these doors were locked? Don't get too close. Is that a shovel? It's hard to tell. Yeah, this is locked. The ghosts are guarding something. As long as I don't get too close to them, they won't turn into orbs, I guess. What about over here? Oh, oh a record. Yeah, I do want that, don't I? That one's locked. No, no, don't run in their direction. Alright, well, there's an arrow I can get, and we have a bow. I guess this is a statue of Artemis. Hence the arrow. There's more than one arrow. Run from spiders! Are they gonna follow me? Okay. The the I, okay, these these things are still here. I wonder if they I wonder if the spiders are going to leave the Artemis room. <clears throat> All right. I have two arrows and a bow. Now, is that just a weapon or is that something that could be used um as like a key item?
first, let's use this record. Because I can guess who wants this. You have nothing to list it on. I cannot carry. Can I not just put the record on this? No. Alright, I was hoping I could put the record on that player. And, uh... Like, that would make the ghost happy. Drop? There is no room. Okay, no. So, I guess... that I guess this is not how you're supposed to use it. Thought we were onto something there. Maybe I do have to pick up the gramophone and use it in... I don't know if I have to use it in that room. Or in another room. Maybe I need to bring it back to the ballroom with the other ghosts. Or maybe all the ghosts just want to listen to a record. I don't know. Alright, I have a bow and arrow. Who wants to get an arrow to the face? Well, there's a big old face in here. Not you, bathroom monster. I didn't mean to insult you. I don't know if I actually have to kill bathroom monster. How about you? You look like someone who wants an arrow to the face. Okay, I shot my arrows. Uh, that did not work. I can't tell if it doesn't work or if I wasn't aiming correctly. It's real- it's hard to tell. I'm gonna try to do that again. Uh, let's see. Save game. Maybe you get a little further away? Possibly? No. Again, I can't tell if... I can't tell if nothing's happening or if I'm not... Ain't, it's hard to tell. It, it, I mean, that just goes with a lot of things in this game. It's like, it's just hard to tell. What if I just use the arrow on its own? I can throw an arrow. Uh. Let's try standing over here, maybe. Okay, I, now this time I actually saw the arrow come out. I can t I confirm the arrow is being fired. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything to that guy, though. Yeah, it did not do anything to that guy. Yeah, there's no way you're surviving that once he starts the onslaught. Didn't, I'm pretty sure I actually did hit him with the arrows, and nothing happened. So maybe that's not the solution to that. But what do the arrows do? Hey, you. You want an arrow? I mean, he got hit with it. Didn't kill him. Okay, um... Let me go... I'm gonna need to drop some more items, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna try to pick up the gramophone and see if I can play the record if I'm holding it. 
But I need to drop something for that. I'll drop this block. <clears throat> That's large. That is larger than I thought it was. I guess let's just let's just say this room is the items room. This is where we will be dropping our items. No? But I no, huh. All right, let's drop some more stuff. Oh, I can take these down. I guess the spiders did not come out of that door. Oh, they're waiting. They're, <laughs> they're just they're right there. They're waiting. Uh, let's drop the statuette. Let's drop the diary. Well, we, we already used the key to the... No, not that. Uh, we already used the key to the cellar. All right. Everything very organized. No, leave that. And now I'm going to try to pick up the gramophone. And see if I can use the record if I'm holding it. Sir, Edward, please. Okay, there we go. Huh. Why can't I carry it? I, I can pick it up. I have picked it up before. Can different items require different amounts of uh, slots in your inventory? Is it a weight thing? All right, let's just go be a, be a bit more thorough. Water jug down. Notebook down. The dresser's key down. A biscuit box down. A broken vase down. Jeremy's letter down? First aid case down? Rifle down? There is no room. Okay, rifle down? All right. Uh, is that enough? And, you know, considering how long it took me to empty that out, let's just, uh... Just save that, in case I anger the ghost. Finally! As throw, and drop put. Okay, if I use the record, use... I'm just okay. I'm I'm just carrying it around with me while music is playing. Ma'am, are you are you calm? You are not. You are not calm. Well, um, I guess we might as well just you know play the whole thing out.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, I did have to get a lot closer to her to make that happen. We're listening to Blue Danube. All right. <clears throat> Poker. Matchbox. Okay, found a couple things. I'm pretty sure if I change modes, probably will stop using the record. So I'll just I'll just keep it on this for right now. And uh, I guess let's try it downstairs as well. But, uh, what do you suppose I'm going to need the fireplace poker for? I, well, it didn't have an option to use. It had an option to throw. Which, I mean, really, more games need to have an option to throw items. Cigar smoke room next to us. This one was locked? Yeah. Oh, right. I have to go through the spider room. Can't carry anything. Probably should drop something. Let's see if we can get through the spider room. Nope, not that. Hello, everyone. <gasps> nope, I'm not getting through there. <gasps> That's not happening. Unless I can just kick them. Can I kick them? Oh, music is still playing. So I can change modes and have uh, the music still play. Can I use my sword? Will that hit them? does not seem like I'm doing any damage to them. The sword looks like it should hit them. It is not hitting them. Alright, I wanted to do that. I wanted to try to get through there because the room where I got the record is on the other side. I wanted to see if playing the record in that room would do anything, but I can't get over there. I'm going to need something that can get rid of the spiders. All right. Well, one thing that we can try is we have a, a better sword. Can we try the sword fight again? That, oh, not that. All right, come on, you.
I hit him once. And twice. He's back into the corner. Uh, but he's backing me up. But you get you lose so much distance if he hits you. Oh, he's down. What do we get? A key? I have one health. I have a single health. Uh, all right, we'll get the uh, the first aid kit. We'll uh, do some healing. Will I continue to use this save? I'm not sure, considering how much damage we took. But um, we can at least see what that key does. I like how he does this. I, I, when I did this in the duel, he just stood there and did it in the middle of the fight. No problem. Put the empty flask down. And empty first aid kit down. Okay, we got a gold key. And which door might that work on? There is a locked door right here. Not that one. Oh, let me, well, let's first examine the room where we fought the guy. Didn't actually do that. Book? You know what that means. It probably means some voice acting. Bucket of paint? Hold on. No. Is that a thing down there? It looks like a bucket of paint. No? We sure that's not anything? I guess not. Can I look at these windows? No. Okay, before we use the door, what about this over here? No. Oh, it's okay. We don't have to go through the spiders. We don't have to do that. I put it down this time. Anyone feel like dancing? No, they're not dancing. And th I guess this goes back out to the main hall. So I wouldn't actually need to... Oh, did I use the key? Yeah, okay. The gold key was the key to the dance hall. that. Alright. The music does not seem to be affecting anything here. No, I, f I don't... No, it's fine. Alright, we can... So, at least we can get back... We can get back into this room without going through the rats. I, like I said, I think that looks like a shovel they're guarding. Um, but the the music is not doing anything. Okay, you know what we might do? We might read a book. What's this book about? Demonia Particularis, Signs and Rituals, by Heinrich Cassell, Ring Publications. The ritual of invocation demands that the officiant be pure. 
We have already described the complex operations to be followed in order to call those that sleep in superior dimensions. We shall, for the present, limit ourselves to the sign of mutual recognition used amongst their number by adepts of the cult of the old ones. The sign also serves as protection when in the presence of a servant of evil. The sign resembles a blessing, save that the first and little fingers are both folded beneath the thumb, whilst the second and third fingers are held up. It would appear that this sign has no effect on adepts of a certain rank with knowledge of particular secrets contained in the corpus demonicus. The use of such signs is not without considerable risk to the user during any attempt to call upon those from without. Can we, can we learn this hand sign? The first and little fingers are folded beneath the thumb. Second and third fingers are held up. I mean, yeah, you, it's not difficult to do, but can, can Carnby learn how to do it? Well, I'm not sure if there's anything we really learned from that. <clears throat> uh, maybe we could just leave this here for the time being. I don't think I need to take it with me. Since, uh... We got what we needed from that one room with the ghost. Maybe there's, like, another record we could play? That would get these dancers dancing? That's the front door. We're not going through that. That's the cigar room, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Demonia Particularis is the name of that. Key to Dance Hall. Biscuit Rocks, Rifle, Matchbox, Poker, Arrow. Poker. We haven't done... So what do we do with this poker? Can we think of anything that we've seen that might require the use of a poker? There's the arrows, which we can use with the bows, but what purpose does that have? We have gun. We also have a rifle that I put down. We use the sword. Um, okay, so, what is it that we have, that we, that we have seen, but can't do? There's the cigar room. I don't know if we can eliminate the cigar smoke. I don't, I don't see how anything we have, oh, wait a second, maybe the poker? No, that, that doesn't make sense. That's a fireplace poker. We can't even use it. We can throw it. Okay, what, what does it look like if I throw the poker? Okay, well, in this case, it just stayed on the floor. Um, maybe there's something I could use to take out the cigar. This door goes to the dance hall. Can I just use my key? No? That's odd. I'm pretty sure that's the door to the dance hall. Why? Is there a reason for it to stay locked? Okay, items that are on the ground. There's empty sh- Nope, don't go upstairs. He's going upstairs. Going upstairs. There's wedge. There's empty shoebox. There's empty oil can. Dresser's key, notebook, jug of water. Can I pour the, the water on the cigar? There's incredibly heavy statuette. There's wedge. Please run, Carnby. I don't know why. Okay, there. You really are very resistant to running. Oh, 
let's see if we can do it. Oh, it did work. Smoke is still expanding, though. Okay, it's gone. Alright, great. Alright, anything in here? Another record, and an <laughs> We're so blessed. We another book. Alright, let's look around. Okay, I think this door was locked. It's locked, yeah. Okay. Please run, Carnby. Thank you. Up oh, too much. Too much stuff. Fine. Let's let's read our book. Memories by Alistair Boliskin. Printed in London, A. Machen, editor, eighteen thirty three. It was during a conversation with G that one first heard of the New England fishing village of I. The area was apparently the ideal place from which to witness unusual phenomena in space. The quality of the air, along with the conjunction of several favorable factors, made one impatient to get started. Having gleaned what information one could from the British Museum, one set off with all haste. One's work on space and comets in particular had met with a warm response, and one thought it judicious to include several original sketches of the phenomenon, sketches which one felt were sure to arouse a great deal of keen interest in the scientific circles of 1834. One refers naturally to the passage of Halley's Comet. Editor's note, Lord Boliskin's memoirs end at this point. Who knows what extraordinary contributions he might still have made had he not succumbed during his visit to New England to dementia, followed by an early death in St. Andrew's Hospital. Hmm. Succumbing to dementia and early death, you say? Probably unrelated to his investigations, I'm sure. Now, I know I can't carry anything else. Let's run... Actually, you know, this room right here would probably work pretty well as our inventory room. It's big. Nothing in it. Is that enough? Yes. Okay. Now, let's try our record. They dislike it. Mm. All right. Why am I finding records that they don't like? What's the reason for that? Well, maybe someone else would like it. Alright, um... Okay, we put out the cigar. There's a locked door in there. We need the proper record, probably, for the dancers. We found two, but they don't like them. Um... Dining room. There doesn't seem to be anything to find in here, but go. But zombies are calm. There's spiders. There's a, an, a at least a third arrow in the Artemis room. But I have two arrows. I don't know what they're used for yet. In the basement. 
there is the hole with like a giant monster in it. And I, I don't know if we can do anything with that yet. Here's a hallway that leads to the dining room and the kitchen. And in the kitchen, we found a bunch of items. Such as the gun, and the water, and the knives, and the, the stew, and the shoebox with the gun in it. And upstairs. The door at the top of the stairs is locked. I don't have any unused keys. There's this room with the, uh, the sitting ghost. The first record, Blue Danube, seemed to calm her down enough for me to grab the poker and the, the matches. This is locked. I don't know what to do with the fireplace poker as of yet. But there's no option to use it, only to throw it. The room with the notebook we completed. There's bathroom where I got the jug, and there's bathroom monster. I don't know... I can't think of a way we might have to kill that. There's painting. There's dark room. I got items from dark room. They're small. It didn't seem like there was anything else in there. There's um, the hallway with the paintings, the one that throws the hatchets at us. Using arrows on it didn't work. None of our weapons seems to work. Well, I tried, like, knives and swords and kicking it. Um, I can't think of any of our items doing anything with that as of yet. <laughs> Close-ups are always good. There's the two mirrors up here. Yeah, we can't take those mirrors back. Those killed the guardians that were up here. Don't fall into the floor. Here's bathroom, but I believe I, I got the first aid kit from here. Here's broken mirror and sink. There's no water. Here's the tub. No water. Uh, there's like a towel, but I guess we can't look at that. Yeah, I got the first aid kit from that before. So, monster attacked me in this room. This is where I got the pot, and then I, like, the vase. And I broke the vase to get the mirror at the mirrors out of it. Nothing in there. That's nothing important. And I look at the broken mirror, broken window. Well, the broken mirror window is sort of, like, in front of me. That doesn't seem right. I like how when he's looking for something, he, like, does this little shuffle forward, a little creep forward, bending over a little bit with, like, the hands, grasping hands. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No. There's this. I don't think there was any, yeah, there was nothing in there. Uh, let's see. I got the saber from that chest. I don't think there was anything here. I think I got the key from he the to that chest from here.
And here's this storeroom. There's like a, a grate in the wall. And that's going to lead us back up to where we began the game, up in the attic. There we go. There's that spooky rocking chair. Ro not rocking chair. Uh, horse. Look at that. Look at it rocking. It's very frightening. Is there anything that I missed? as we can go into this corner. We can push the stool around. You know, there, there's like a few things that we can just sort of push very easily just by walking into it. I don't know if there's ever anything we need to do with that. Like this stool. We need to do anything with that stool. Would there be a reason to push this onto something? Just leave it on this rug. I looked in the chest. Was that the rifle? It might have been the rifle that was in there. Oh, hey, there's a book up here. Alright, I didn't look at this bookshelf. Nothing important. Let's keep looking around and we'll, we'll read our book. Let me just first make a circuit around the room. Would you say Carnby is overdressed for coming here? Or if you're, like, fighting your way through this ridiculous haunted mansion, is he dressed just enough? And, uh, I don't think there would be anything else in this. Nothing important. There's the piano. Nothing here. I found a note behind it, which was Hartwood's suicide note. Like, in the intro, they specifically mentioned searching the piano. But I think the only thing that was in there was the, um... was the note. And when I restarted the game, I did slide the chest and this over here in front of the areas where the monsters come in. Oh, wait, you can open that. Okay, I didn't get that. Right, well, that's something I didn't find. What is that? Old Indian cover. Or you can just put it down. Where would someone... Someone need to use that. Let's 
Is there a place that we could put that down? Well, for right now, let's read, read our new book. Fragment of the Myth of the Golden Fleece. Translation, Edouard de Villeban. Hesperides Publications. Then, Perseus came across Ichios, who had been turned into stone. He spoke to his companions and said, Beware of the Medusa. He who looks into their eyes is doomed to the same fate as that which befell poor Ichios, and will never more set eyes on Seraphos. Must we go blindfolded? asked Emelopes. Take up your bronze shields and polish them until they flash in the sun, answered Perseus. Fill your hearts with courage. May Artemis guide us as though we were an arrow from her quiver. But Emelopes was not satisfied. Why do that, Perseus? Is three inches of sharpened metal not enough to destroy these accursed creatures? Then Perseus drew his sword, which shone and glittered in the sun, and with it he dazzled Emelopes. Now what can you see? The companions of Zeus' sons laughed. Let us set to work so that our shields may shine like mirrors. Perseus, I feel like I have to insist that, that three inches is plenty if you know how to use it. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm saying that uh, it, it's, it's all in the technique is, is what I mean, Perseus. Well, this, this specifically does, this one specifically mentions... An arrow from Artemis's quiver, killing Medusa. And there is a statue of Artemis. We have her arrows and bow. We have not encountered a Medusa. But maybe that's something. Maybe we will. Maybe we should keep in mind if we encounter some sort of Medusa-like thing. But uh, as we were as we were reading that was thinking about what we might want to put this little rug on. Maybe there's an answer. Let's let's give it a try. Well, no, 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 don't run on that. No, I didn't want to go downstairs. What I'm thinking of is up here. All right, you. You want a rug? Yeah, you do. Yeah, he wants a rug. He just wanted a nice, comfortable blanket. That's all he wanted. That's right. Now he doesn't ha he won't be cranky. He doesn't have to throw his little hatchets. And we can walk into the art art hallway and see what other horrible thing is going to kill us immediately. I don't have another camera angle like over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe that's a good place to stop for tonight. Um, 
with our continuing adventures in Derseto. As Edward Carnby dies repeatedly and alone in the dark, but hey, we're making progress. We're finding keys, we're unlocking doors, going into rooms, playing records, uh, finding fireplace pokers, uh, throwing a heavy statue at a suit of armor, beating a pirate in a sword fight, um, putting, like, a little rug on a painting so he doesn't kill us. But then we got killed by the other painting. Got killed by the other one. But I, I'm feeling good about the progress we're making. Also, we got plenty of voice acting as we found a bunch of books and, uh, and learned some important information, some important lore and backstory to Alone in the Dark. <laughs> so, we're continuing on our adventures... Uh, you know, a fun thing about this game is it's really impossible to tell what your progress is, because what are we even doing here? The whole plot of the game is that we came to Dirceto to, I think, inve investigate the, the guy's death, his suicide, and also investigate his little piano. And yeah, we've, we've, we solved that case. That case was solved in like the first five minutes of the game. The guy killed himself because of the absolute nightmare his house has become. So now we're trying to find some way out of it, uh, but we can't go out the front door because we get sucked up into uh, a, a something. Um, so it's just basically opening all the doors and fighting all the monsters and trying to find some way out. But it's kind of hard to tell just how far along we are or what kind of progress we're making. But it's fun as we go. Uh, I guess we do have a, a pretty clear location to be exploring right now, which is the art hallway. We need to find a way to get to the end of the art, art hallway without getting arrowed by that second painting. And that's what we'll be doing next time as we continue on with Alone in the Dark.